What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rolling with the Fishers. And we're here at DCA, and we're going to be seeing... Everybody, how are we doing? Good! I'm so happy most of you said a word. The last crowd just screamed at me. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Everybody stay cool today? No! Some of you said yes and you're liars and I can't trust you. Alright, well I know everybody is here excited for a story, so I want you to all shout out the name of your favorite story. Cool. Everybody pretty much said Deadpool in some way. So get creative, people. Read a book. <sighs> All right. I guess we're going to do a fan favorite. This story is actually a personal favorite of mine. It's full of action. Nice. Romance. And it's guaranteed to be in strong consideration for an award at the end of the calendar year. That's right. This story is Beauty Pool and the Wolverbeast. Sounded like you cheered louder for that second part. All right. Astigmatism is not a joke, people. That's right, they know. Once upon a time, you know, that just doesn't feel right when I do it with myself. We should all say those magical words together. Ready? Once upon a time. That was painful to listen to. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it myself. Once upon a time, I was walking along, captivated by my favorite book, the autobiography of Ryan Reynolds when suddenly I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Do it with me, people. Sound effects, there it is. Participation, it's Disney. <laughs> you see, my father had left for the fair earlier that day. And now, here was his horse, my father no longer in the saddle. <gasps> yeah, me and four people were surprised. <laughs> but this was a necessary element in order to push the story along. I jumped down, I grabbed Philippe by his muzzle, and I shouted, Oh, Philippe, where is Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? <laughs> I asked the horse this, like he was some sort of television horse who could understand and respond in English. Yeah, but he wasn't, he's a horse. So I mounted Philippe, and I shouted, Away to Papa, quickly! And away we galloped. There we go, thank you. Took a while, but we got there. And then we slowed down. A couple of you got it, there we go. We went deep, deep into the dark forest. It was dark. It was haunted with ghosts, apparently. <laughs> it was so scary. It was like, it was like going to a Waffle House at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. <laughs> Suddenly we came upon a clearing, and out of the mist arose an enchanted mansion, Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way, because I knew who lived here. He was the hideous, the horrible, the Wolverbeast! That's right, it's the Wolverine. That's the joke. It's a play on words. Whoa, whoa, Wolvie, Wolvie, Wolvie. Hey, hey, hey. You're not taking me out of here. This is important. It's not just for me. It's for all the children out there. 
and the people with really expensive cameras. Hi. Hey, let's get a good one. Yeah, it's good. I'm not doing this for you, though. I'm doing this for you, kid. For that kid? Oh, you're so lucky. Where are the glasses? Never. Okay. It's right there. Perfect. I'll take okay, my so get off me. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Belle. Beauty pool. I'm not saying beauty pool. You have to. It's part of our Disney contract. I hate you. Beauty pool. Thank you. Does a little uh, B and E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. Oh, and cutlery. It's important to mention them. They have a musical number partway through. Be out. Then beast. the real oh, hero okay. shows up. The beast. The Wolver Beast. Would you follow the rules of the parody here? Okay, anyway, Pooh Boy oh. over here makes a mess of things as usual. Then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, 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 he slices off some bad guys oh. while Beauty Queen over here stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <gasps> My cultural references are not outdated, they are dynamite! <laughs> Right, Jimmy Walker, Good Times, 1974. Wolverine, you are ruining this story time. You're not mentioning any of the best characters. You've got Mrs. Potts and her wonderful son, Chip. Lumiere Cogsworth. What about Chef Boosh? <laughs> right, that was a deep cut just for the magic key pass holders. Yeah, Chef Boosh is the stove. And honestly, with you, Wolvie, I expected a few bars of Tale as old as time. Hey, I said no musical theater. Boy, that's a pity. If you were a showman, you'd be the greatest. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Of course not. All right, well, clearly we've touched on a nerve, so I'll go ahead and wrap this story up. Uh, the moral of the story, everybody, is don't open the door to strangers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They might be an evil witch who will curse you, your guests, and all your furniture just for not letting them inside. <laughs> Boy, this is a weird story, huh? We read this to children. You do. All right, Wolvie, we'll we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I want you to say the magic words. What magic words? You know, the way that all of the best Disney stories end. And don't anybody here start talking about post-credit scenes, all right? Those are way overused, especially in the Feige universe, the F-C-U. So you could probably cut a letter out of there. I'm out of here. All right, too much fourth wall for you, Wolvie? All right, have fun. Bye, Wolvie. Yay. Yeah, I had to prompt the cheering out of them. Well, for what it's worth, everybody, they all lived. Happily ever after. Well, they, they were happy until the direct to DVD releases later. The, the residuals on those are terrible. Did anybody see Once Upon a Deadpool? Hardly anybody knows what he did. I made no money off of that. All right, I'm just gonna go. They're playing. All right, bye. bye. You like that? Yeah. <laughs>